You guys, I just had to show you this. This is a half gallon of kefir that I made. And this set up so beautifully. If you look at the bottom, there's whey separated. And this, wait till I turn it, you can see it's, can you see that? Look at that. It's so well set. It's just a perfect, perfect batch. All right, so the thing about kefir is, if this were just yogurt, it would be ready to consume just like this. But because this is kefir and our kefir grains are in here, we have to get those out before we make another batch and before we either bottle the kefir for drinking or make cheese out of it. So you have to strain out the grains first. All right, so. This is eight cups, so you have to make sure that you have an adequate size bowl to catch your kefir in. All right, so we're gonna start to strain this out. I take a little silicone spatula and work it back and forth. And this is a strainer with small holes in it you can't do this with cheesecloth because the kefir is just too thick. So you really have to use a strainer, but fairly small holes because you don't want the grains to fall through. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna pour the rest of this in here. Ooh. So I'm gonna continue to strain this out. And there's our grains. So cool. All right, <clears throat> so the grains go back in the jar. I'll come back to that. To these grains, I'm adding whole organic milk. This is how you keep the process going and you'll put this back on your counter for another two days and you'll have your next batch of kefir. All right, now we're gonna take the kefir and start to strain it out and begin to make our cheese. So make sure you have a large enough bowl to accommodate the kefir you're about to pour in it or else you're gonna have a big mess. So you're gonna pour this into the cheesecloth. So to make cheese, this is just a soft, um, just a soft cheese. It doesn't go in a cheese press like you've seen with some cheddars and things. This is a very basic cultured milk product. Okay, so we're gonna draw up the sides. Pull it up, tuck it in. Okay, so get all the sides up. All right, and then you need to rubber band it and to close it off. So this kefir has been on the counter for two days, so it has cultured for two days already with the grains. And now we are going to let it culture another overnight, another few hours at least. So when you Use your rubber band, make your last loop, but don't pull it through. And if you have a knob on your cabinet, it works perfectly. So now that's gonna sit like that overnight, again, up to 24 more hours. What's dripping out is the whey, so we'll be left with the culture inside, and the whey will go into the bowl. You can leave this out at room temperature, so you're gonna get a third day of culturing because it's at room temperature. All right, I hung this the evening before and I was checking in the next day and it was just still too runny. It was not ready yet, so I re-hung it for a few more hours. All right, and I'm using this, just a knife. But you can see it's not touching the bottom. So now all the kefir can continue to drip out. All right, so most of the liquid is now out and it is ready to salt. 
So we're gonna put in one teaspoon per quart of the kefir that you started with. And we're gonna hang it again. The salt will pull out some more of that liquid and dry this cheese out a little bit more. Oh, you guys, I've tasted it and it is so, so good. Tangy, a little salty. All right, so we're gonna rehang this cheese overnight again. So it takes a while, it takes a couple days to make this, but it's not hard. You remember the first day when I hung this, I really had to suspend it because there was so much volume to it and it was heavy. At this stage now, I actually put it in the refrigerator um, and I just tuck this under and that actually holds it well off the bottom so that it doesn't sit in the liquid that's draining off. So now that's salted, it's gonna pull out a little bit more liquid over the next 24 hours and then we're gonna make uh, cheese balls. All right, so this cheese has sat overnight once again. I'm gonna actually make an herb cheese. So you can see a lot of the whey has dripped out and it's pretty firm now. A nice soft cheese. What I'm gonna do is put a little bit organic Italian seasoning mix and I'm gonna mix it inside the cheese ball and then roll the outside. So the dry herbs will soften with the moisture of the cheese. This is gonna sit overnight. I'm serving these tomorrow. There we go.